To begin the upgrade process, two things should take place first. Download the latest service pack release through the customer portal. Logging into the portal, click on downloads and upgrades, and you'll see here on the SolidWorks tab where you can get the latest and greatest enterprise PDM service pack. Downloading that will give you a zip file. Once that zip file is extracted, all of these files are needed for the upgrades. These will handle the upgrades for all servers and clients. The second thing that should take place is please don't forget to get the latest license file that you'll need to upload once the upgrades are complete. To begin the upgrade process, after extracting the zip file, it's best to go ahead and run the auto run executable. The reason it's best to run this executable here is that it'll take care of any prerequisites and in supporting installations that might be required for the update. Once we have the auto run begun here, we can just go ahead and click the upgrade button. Let it get started. For the most part, if you're doing an upgrade, all you'll really need to do is click next on the dialog boxes presented. There really shouldn't be any changes necessary unless you plan to change the server installations. Clicking next a few times, accepting the license agreement. I'm just going to continue through the process. It's already got the existing folder where it's installed. Clicking next, it'll typically come up with custom. And especially on your servers where you might install the archive database or archive and database servers, it's also recommended perhaps to install a client on that server machine for any troubleshooting or local access and validation. Once we have our options selected, all our products, we'll just go ahead and click Next. Since I'm doing an upgrade on this server here, which is acting as a server and client, uh, I click Next and I'll see all the dialog boxes presented. Here it's asking me to identify the SQL server. It's installed locally, so I'll just use Local and the SA login. This is going to be typically that PDM user perhaps if it's not using the SA in SQL. Maybe there was a specific user defined. You should log in as that user. Next it's asking about the client that I'm installing. What kind of license I would like to use or identify for that client. And I'm going to go ahead and select PDM Editor. For the most part the three client options are available here. PDM Editor 1 gives you one additional screen that the other two might not, selecting what type of plugin you'd like to install. And I'll go ahead and select SolidWorks. For the most part, everything's been identified. It'll go, go ahead now and upgrade the client server services. Uh, here it's identifying a few applications that are open and running and need to be shut down. So again, that might be something to consider. Make sure you shut down other applications. In this case, I've got a few running. I'll go ahead and let it automatically close. Once that's done, go ahead and let the installation process complete normally. If you happen to get this dialog box where it wasn't able to shut down all the applications, that's typically okay. You might have to do a uh, restart on the server or a client, just in case. But for the most part, go ahead and click OK and let it finish the process. Once the upgrade process has been complete, we'll go ahead and click Finish. And again, it might prompt you to go ahead and do an upgrade. Uh, I'll select No. Uh, one of the things, you, little tricks you can uh, work typically, um, if you need to, is go ahead and bring up the Task Manager. And what I'll do is just kill the process for Explorer temporarily. Now you want to make sure you have local admin rights on your machine so that you can be sure to restart any tasks. But let me go ahead and kill the Explorer process. Then I'll select File, New Task, and Enter Explorer, and click OK. That'll restart all the Explorer interfaces normally. Now there's one more step to complete the operation here, the upgrade. We want to go ahead and go back in, uh, into our installation software, our upgrade software here. Run the auto run, execute that once again. And down here under this option, How to Upgrade from Previous SolidWorks Enterprise PDM Versions, I'm going to select a hyperlink. What that's going to do is provide us one additional step that's very, very important, and that is to go ahead and upgrade the database. To do so, I'll just click the button here, Upgrade Database. It will start that 
wizard and here I'll just click yes to start it. Clicking next it should give us a list of our vaults here in just a moment asking us what or where the SQL server is. Again the login required so once again log in as SA or the identified user PDM user with the all the proper access rights and here we see the vaults that are available for us to go ahead and upgrade check the boxes click next click next one more time and get that process started it pro might take a few moments uh, to get particularly if you have several different vaults uh, and you've selected multiple vaults here it could take some time so we'll go ahead and let that complete So once the database has been upgraded, I'll go ahead and click Finish. Now again, there's a very important step, as, a, as I said before. You want to make sure that you do download or get access to, uh, request it from the reseller, uh, if necessary, the latest license file for that version that you're upgrading to. Let me go ahead and open up the administration tool now that the upgrades are complete. And here I'll go ahead and open up the vault here, logging in with the admin login. And here you'll find license, double-clicking on that. Here's where you'd want to now browse in this area here, license file. Browse for the new license file. It's going to be a text file typically. Uh, and once you find that text file and get it identified, go ahead and click OK to finish. And then open it back up one more time and it should show you the number of licenses that are now authorized. Okay. This is a great way too to update your license should you add any additional seats, uh, new cat editor licenses, or a few more viewers. You would get that new license file with the additional seats and read it it in the same way. Okay. Once that's all complete, one final step that I would want to perform perhaps just to verify everything is complete is to go ahead and with that local vault view that you had on the server, perhaps double click on that and log in just to make sure everything's connected okay and you can see everything. Uh, we want to make sure we see data card entries, uh, we can uh, access and browse the vault normally see any files that might be there once again just to see if the, we can see the data and so forth previews I guess just give it a quick once over just to make sure everything's being accessed correctly if everything looks good the only thing that's left is to upgrade any remaining archive servers and the clients of course and once again just to make that point the downloaded zip file that you extracted earlier can be used to go ahead and upgrade all of the clients as well and for the most part the process is exactly the same just click next through the rest uh, the screens whenever you're going through the upgrade and it should get your clients upgraded nicely. One final point concerning the clients, there's no need to remove the local vault view, but it is perhaps recommended to make sure everyone's checked in their files before running the upgrades. It's not 100% necessary, but it's perhaps a good plan, a good practice. Uh, before performing any upgrades, of course it would be beneficial to make sure you've got a clean and complete backup.